Now, the only thing that people who are getting by is the special guy, which is taken away now. Shameful. Shame. Why? Because the government says it is unsustainable that more poor people have enough to eat. They will increase, listen to this, they will increase the rate in their budget by 1% at the end of the year. That's a slap on the face. We cannot let the government run our future. We have to build a movement to win the rights, to demand income and free of poverty. They have to raise the rate by the 40% and people have to have money to eat food. So if they want to cut money, not they give bailout to the corporates and banks and in their budget cut money from the poor people. That's shameful, man. Shame, shame, shame. So let's go together and fight and fight and we will come again and again and again until they listen to us. Thank you. Today, we are going to march on a government that has shamefully cut the special diet for people on social assistance. And a government whose viciousness, viciousness is matched only by its hypocrisy. And today we launch a movement to challenge this government on what it has done to people. And again and again, when you go to people and say we need to fill the streets, we need to march, people say can it do any good? So I'd like to return to a basic proposition. And that is we need to ask ourselves, why do they give us anything? Why do they give us any welfare at all? I'll tell you the reason. They give it to us because they know if they left people to simply starve, there would be massive social unrest. So, from that, logically, if we are going to challenge this cut, we must give them massive social unrest. And we're going to have no lack of allies in that. This budget was only the first cut. There's going to be more cuts to public services. There's going to be more attacks on public sector workers. We need to build a movement in this province that is enormous, that goes right across the province. We need to march and fill the streets. We need to invade their offices. We need to disrupt their meetings. We need to besiege their legislature. Because I'll tell you something. You can, uh, you can go hungry by yourself. You can close the door and just be hungry. There's no problem. But if you're going to fight back, you've got to unite. So let's march now. Let's go to the streets. Let's march in strength. Let's march in solidarity. Let's march in anger. And let's scare the shit out of those in the We're hungry! We're hungry! We want to the war! Stop the war! Stop the war! And we're here to say that we're not going to keep letting disabled people be played off against other poor people. Everybody knows that poverty reduction is a bold-faced lie. It's a propaganda war. So that they can let a few of us in the front door where there be 
beating us in the back. It's shameful and we will not let it happen. It doesn't matter where you were yesterday. What matters is that you're here today and tomorrow we'll go back to our communities and we will organize a bigger, broader fight back against this government. The provincial government has completely turned its back on low-income people in Ontario. As a hospital worker, I know that nutrition is key to keeping people well. For people with medical conditions who need a special diet, to cancel that diet is cruel and will send them into institutions like hospitals where the costs are like a thousand dollars a day. $135 a month for food, for clothing, for everything. Sisters and brothers, that is starvation is what that is. And I'm here to tell you on behalf of the quarter million members of CUPE in the province of Ontario, we have not been doing enough on poverty issues and I want to acknowledge that. And I want to acknowledge on behalf of our provincial executive that we're here today to promise you that at our provincial convention we will be taking resolutions that will call for us to deepen and intensify the fight against the anti-poor people politics of this government and sisters and brothers there's a dearth of union support at this rally and we commit to you that we're going to go back into the labor movement and we're going to politicize these issues and we're going to work with you i'm so happy to be here jane and finch is down here our community's been facing struggles for many many decades we have the highest denial rate of social of special diets in the city of toronto Let me just start by saying it's a beautiful day to kick some liberal ass. Yeah. I want to quickly talk about two things. One is a special diet cut, which we know is shameful, which we know is an attack on the people who are most vulnerable in the city. The other thing, and it's shameful, the other thing that I want to talk about is the cuts that the federal government is making to the immigration system. They're cutting the refugee system. They're increasing temporary work permits, which means people are coming in here and being exploited with no status and with no rights, and it's a shame. We are an anti-capitalist group because we are against poverty. In Ontario today, people, poor people have to make choices. The rent or the food, the bus pass or the medication, winter clothes or winter boots. But there's one thing that we don't have a choice about, and that's the struggle. We are here, not because we want to, but because we don't have the option to lose this fight. People should understand what's happening today. Today, there are poor people from across communities, poor communities from across Toronto that have gathered. We are talking to each other. It's important to do that. St. Tomacoke, Parkdale, Jane and Finch, Ottawa, the stop, Sistering, Dundas and Sherburn. The community that I've worked in the last 20 years has a long history of struggle. Over a thousand people died on those streets from 1995 to 2005. Shame on you! We will not let this happen again. We will not. We will mobilize, we will organize, we will talk to each other. And they get to you, you better be listening. Because if you try and come to our community, we'll hunt you down and we'll chase you out. <laughs>